Hi everyone! This video will be about financial model of a gym. If it's useful, please give us a like, subscribe our channel, push the bell button and leave us a comment. Also, you can order financial business models from scratch or download this model. The link to download is below this video. If you have a business idea of starting your own gym, this simple financial model can help you to evaluate the amount of money you need to start this business. Besides, you will also be able to see the profit, payback period of your investment and profitability of your future operational activity. Of course, it will be very interesting for you to know how stable your business idea is if something happens with revenue and expenses. So now let's go through the model and I will show you what items you should pay attention to if you want to run this business. In our model, all inputs are colored in blue. Other cells are automatic. First of all, we enter the year when all our projections start. Then we enter the year and month when our gym gets the first revenue. Now we have to construct a revenue generating algorithm. First of all, we mention all our customer types. Then we have switch on and switch off button. Using this button, we can include and exclude the revenue and direct costs from each type of customer from evaluation of profit and payback period in your financial business model. Then we set up the prices of membership for each type of customer. Then we have very important block of inputs. All our types of customers won't stay with us forever. One day they will leave our gym. So here we specify the life cycle for each type of customer. Then we enter the interval of membership payment. Some types of customers may pay it monthly. Other types of customers will pay membership once a year. Some will pay once in half a year. So, here we can enter the interval of this payment. Then we have a special coefficient which is connected to the amount of new customers. Its value is 100% by default. Using it, we can adjust the overall amount for each type of customer so that you can quickly create new scenarios of future operating activity without adjusting the absolute amounts of inputs. Then we enter the amount of bonus from revenue to give to our trainers. Here we also specify a trainer payroll. To figure out the correct amount of trainers, we set up the amount of customers per one trainer. Then we specify the revenue from training from each type of customer. If the revenue from training from one customer has some seasonality, we set it up here. In the next table, we only enter the amount of new customers. We can enter it monthly. The months from 25 to 36 with their seasonality will be extrapolated to the next years. The next block of inputs deals with investment needed before we start operational activity stage. 
green column will show us the moment when we start operating activity. Moving to the past from the moment of starting the operating activity, we describe our investment stage. Here we can specify what item we invest in, when we invest and how much we invest. Then we have a payroll table where we mention salaries, positions and amount of people on each position. Our gym may also have some fixed costs which can be specified here. We've marked a typical year where you can put your fixed costs even if they have some seasonal fluctuations. Going ahead, we also have a depreciation table. If we have a depreciation for the investment item, we can set a depreciation status and specify the period of depreciation in months. The next block of inputs deals with taxes. You can set the tax rates and move to the cash flow statement where you will see the results of financial modeling. Cash flow is the main statement where you see financial efficiency of your business idea. What valuable information can you get from this table? First, you can see the total revenue, direct and fixed costs, payroll and taxes. Second, you can see your monthly profit and cumulative cash balance. Third, one of the main things you'll see from cash flow is total amount of money you need to start the business. If you see that total financing is bigger than amount of money you have, you can add loan parameters. Amount of loan, month and year you get it, a loan term in months, interest rate, and grace period for interest and body payment of the loan. After cash flow statement, we can see lines with profit and profitability. Then you can set the discount rate and look at the final financial efficiency parameters of your gym. Now we can see the graphic illustration of your business idea. Here we see in monthly detail simple and discounted payback period, loan coverage ratio, revenue and total expenses, profit, profitability, cash balance, cumulative profit, operation profit and loan payment. Then we have the same information done yearly. On the next Excel sheet we have gathered yearly consolidated cash flow statement, profit loss statement and main financial results of your gym. Finally, we see the financial efficiency of your gym. Is this model stable? What will happen to your business if revenue decreases or expenses rise? Now it's time to apply sensitivity analysis. Further, we have several Excel sheets where we test financial efficiency. We test the influence of such parameters as revenue, fixed and direct costs, payroll, investment, interest rate and loan amount. How does it work? To answer this question, let's go to the revenue sensitivity test. Here we set the pace of increasing or decreasing the revenue. Then we push sense button and see when our financial efficiency will go negative. Now we see how stable this gym business model is. Plus it's a great moment to rethink your business strategy in time before you start investment your money in business. Maybe it's a good time to return back to inputs and create one more scenario which can be more financially strong. The same story goes with all other blocks of sensitivity analysis. So, this was GIM Financial Business Model. You can download it. The link to download is below this video. If this video was useful to you, please give us a like, share it with your friends, subscribe our channel, 
push the bell button or leave us a comment. Also, you can ask us to prepare an individual financial model. Let's test your business idea. Stay tuned and bye-bye!